Hey, good morning everybody. Trevor Rice here. Just another vlog post as we're getting the day started. I have my hot chocolate. And now, uh, well, you know, I never know what the day is going to have involved in it, who I might speak to, what might be going on. One thing's for sure, though, I got to get this banner situation figured out with one of our sponsors on our website. So that's where the day is going to start, and then we'll just kind of see where it goes from there. Come along for the ride. All right, now we're going to do a break. Queen and Bohemian Rhapsody on Classic Hits 106.9 WTTL, taking it back to the mid-70s with that one. We're getting you through on a Tuesday afternoon. Glad you're spending it with us. Hey, it's Trevor Rice on the way. I have music from Billy Joel, Twisted Sister, Super Tramp all coming up. Well, your Lost Classics later on this afternoon, so stick around for that. Here's Madonna and Like a Prayer. And there you go. There's one break. All right, so here's a look at our automation system. It's Stork 2, and I do a request hour, Monday through Friday, 11 until noon, and I just had a call or request a song. They want to hear Aerosmith, Dude Looks Like a Lady. So let's go ahead, and I'll pull that up right here. You'll see it. Let me uh, zoom in on a little bit. So you see it right there. We'll insert it and we'll go ahead and play it here in just a moment. So it is now inserted on the log, ready to play. All right, let's do a second break here. Hey, it's Billy Joel on your Tuesday, Modern Woman on Classic Hits 106.9 WTTL. Well, you all know the Super Mario Brothers movie had a lot of success to it. It did well at the box office. A lot of people here in Madisonville were going to the theater to watch that movie. Specifically, I heard story after story. Places like GameStop were definitely taking advantage of Mario. They had all their Mario inventory basically out in your face as you passed in front of GameStop here in Madisonville. Apparently the Barbie movie is doing very well too. Very popular. I've heard a lot of moms and dads wanting to take their child to go see the Barbie movie. And it's done well on their YouTube page. They have over 20 million global subscribers on their YouTube page now. Over 23 billion minutes watched of their content. And apparently the Barbie movie has been so well for the dolls and the playhouse. The Barbie dream house has sold every two minutes. They've been selling a dream house every two minutes. Movies have a lot of power and influence on how we spend and buy. Yes, they do. I figured, why not just take you throughout the entire hour, one hour spending with me on what it looks like when I talk on the air. Here's break number three. It's Classic Hits 106.9 TTL, getting you through on your Tuesday afternoon grind. Hopefully your day has been well to you. Beautiful weather we're getting here in Hopkins County. And later on today, Automotive Express off South Main Street of Madisonville gives you the chance to request some music. 270-825-1079. TTL Facebook page, you can drop us a message. 70s, 80s, early 90s. If I have it in the music library, request it for the drive home later on today. Let's crank it up right now and give you a twisted sister. We're not going to take it. It's on Classic Kids, 106.9 TTL. Break number four. There's five breaks in an hour, by the way. Don Henley, The Heart of the Matter is on Classic Hits 106.9 TTL. A beautiful Tuesday afternoon here in Hopkins County. And in fact, uh, August kind of means the school is about to start back up, right? August 15th is when it all starts back here in Hopkins County. I know the kids are not looking forward to that. Maybe they're celebrating a birthday, though, or maybe you know somebody who could be celebrating a birthday this month. Go and share it with us on our TTL Facebook page right now. I posted it up earlier this morning. Give us the name, date, and age of somebody in your circle who might be celebrating. Could be a friend. Could be a neighbor. Could be somebody you know close to you, and you want to recognize that person. Go and share their birthday. They have a chance to win an ice cream birthday cake to Dairy Queen of Massaville at the end of the month. Good luck. And happy birthday to all of you August babies. Let's go ahead and do break number five as we wrap up the hour. Jackson Brown taking us on a little trip back to December 6th of 1977 with that single right there, Running on Empty on Classic Hits 
WTTL actually appeared on his fifth studio album, Trevor Rison, as I am going to be broadcasting again live this Friday as the Holiday World Summer Tour continues, presented by First Financial Bank. We're going to be at Mad City Carpet Barn on Friday, 1 until 2, so get there all week long. Put your name in the drop box. You can go back. You can go there today. You can go there tomorrow. Put your name in the drop box multiple times for a chance to win some summer fun. We'll be announcing a winner for two Holiday World tickets Friday at 2. As the First Financial Bank Holiday World Summer Tour continues, come out and join us. Mad City Carpet Barn, I'll have some station t-shirts with me on hand as well. And that is our little wrap on the hour. Well, it's Tuesday, August 1st, and some sad news. Uh, she's been battling some kidney issues and just health problems for a long time anyway. But I got the notification this afternoon. My sister called me telling me that my grandmother passed away, my last grandparent here on this planet. And so I will be planning a trip back to Iowa and spending time with my family and loved ones. And, you know, I like going back to Iowa, but I hate having to go back for funerals. It's always a sad time. Um, I'll be happy to see everybody again. But it's through unfortunate circumstances that I have to go back. Uh, she passed away. She was 91. She just turned 91 on June 1st of this year, so a couple of months ago. And uh, I, I was able to see her one last time, fortunately. And I'm glad for that. So uh, I just wanted to update you guys on that. And so uh, I love you, Grandma. I miss you. And we will see you again soon. All right, just got a haircut. Now I think I'm ready to go for a walk. So it's been a while since I've been on a walk. There's a cemetery right across the street from where I live. It's called Oddfellow Cemetery. Not too far away. It's big. It's got roads that go all over the place. And it's just good to go for a walk from time to time. And it gives me time to just reflect on things. All of the life struggles, all of the things that makes me upset or things like that, it just helps going for a walk. It's highly therapeutic. I, I recommend it for anybody. It's good for multiple reasons. Exercise, and just getting out. I mean, it's a beautiful sunny day. Look at beautiful sunny day all the way around. Really recommend it. Just walking a little bit more here. So I'm vlogging this basically the afternoon that my sister called me and let me know that my grandmother passed away. And even though you know, we all reach an expiration date, or we all have an expiration date at some point, it doesn't make it any easier. Even if you know somebody's been sick, or not feeling too well, it's just, it still doesn't make it any easier, whether it's a pet, a loved one, somebody close to you. Sometimes, like I said, it's just good to go for a walk and just reflect on all the good times and just remember all the time spent with those who are no longer here with us. Every single person, even at this cemetery here, left an impact on people. They made lots of memories with lots of individuals. That's just the way it goes. And then when our time comes up, we leave a lot of people behind. And I think we reflect 
on the good memories, which leads to sadness a lot. I think we're all afraid of loss. And whereas it is sad, like I'm hurting and not liking the fact that, you know, my grandmother is no longer with us. I also know she's in a much better place, just like my other family members, just like people you know. There's some heritages, they look at death as a celebration. And I feel like Americans, us here in the United States, we forget that sometimes, that we should be celebrating the life of our loved ones. And we always turn it to sadness. I just think we need to try to celebrate some more than maybe what we do. So whenever I go for a walk, there's this church kind of next door to the cemetery. And I do a loop around it. I never walk through that drive through right there. I always go around. It's not many extra steps, but it's a few. But I go around the entire parking lot here, or at least the grass area. And then I circle back around towards the cemetery. When I circle back around, I'm gonna show you what exactly, or how big this cemetery actually is, how much real estate they own, and how much of it really is not even filled up yet. It's kind of insane. It's even more insane thinking about that one day it is all going to be filled up to the max with people buried inside. I think that's the thing that's crazy about it. As we think about all of the bodies that have been buried already. And then you get to a point of thinking about how many come after you. Come after all these people that you know you're seeing right now on camera. Some, and I've looked at you know a lot of these as I've walked through here, died really, really young. And it's unfortunate they didn't even get to live, you know, a long life. But look how massive this place is, and the camera really doesn't do it justice. But way back there, I don't know if you can see that building. This thing goes all the way clear over the hill. So you can just see how massive this is and how much space they still have to fill with graves. This place is just so big. And like I said, it's if you just look at the roads, I've walked these several times. You can definitely get your steps in here at Oddfellow Cemetery. I think this part of the cemetery, and if you look back a little bit, is where some of the oldest graves are here, if I had to take a guess. I don't know that for a fact, but I've noticed some really old ones. You gotta, you're talking like going back to the 1800s. just a huge cemetery. I don't know how it ranks compared to others as far as size and I guess longevity when it first started. But if I had to take a guess, I'd say this thing, this cemetery might be one of the older ones here in Madisonville. Somebody might be able to correct me on that, but I have seen some old, old tombs here. 
and it's just peaceful. I don't know if you can hear the birds chirping, but it's always so quiet and peaceful here. Makes for the perfect walking spot, if you ask me. And on that note, we are going to end today's vlog. I know it kind of turned depressing real quick, but uh, I just needed to, you know, get that off my chest. I felt like going for a walk definitely helped out. Until next time, take care of each other. Love those around you because you never know when the last day may be here for any of us. Be good to one another, like I always say, and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye.